Shri Krubhya Namaha children. Welcome to the Online Teaching Academy, Ekalaiva. So far you have studied about Nazism and the rise of Hitler. In the previous chapter, in the previous uh, session, you have learned about the years of depression. In that, you know the you know very well about the economic condition of Germany. Already, the Germany experienced the hyperinflation situation, and also the recession in the USA was affected Germany a lot. And also, you have studied about the uh, political conditions of Germany during the Depression time. And now we are moving on to the new topic that is Hitler rise to power. So the crisis in the economy, polity and society form the background to Hitler rise in power. So we already learned the economic crisis and the political instability in Germany. So all this form together created a background for the Hitler to rise to rise in power. And now we are moving on to see how did Hitler rise to power. So Hitler born in 98 sorry 1889. So Hitler born in 1889 in Austria okay so he spent his childhood in very poverty he spent his childhood in poverty because he lost his parent at very young age and he spent his childhood in poverty and during the world war time world war one he acted as a messenger in the army and he earned various medals for bravery. Okay. And then the German defeat horrified him. So what is this uh, horrified? So horrified means it was so shocking to Hitler. Okay, so the German defeat was a shocking news for Hitler. And also the Versailles Treaty made him furious. Furious means uh, full angry. Because we know already, we discussed already uh, how harsh the Treaty of Versailles on Germans, isn't it? So the German defeat horrified him and the Versailles Treaty made him to get extreme angry, okay? So in 1919, he joined in a small group, small group called German Workers' Party. And it was renamed as National Socialist German Workers' Party. So that was came to be known as Nazi Party. Okay. So in the year 1923, Hitler uh, planned to seize Bavaria so that he marched to Berlin and capture power. Because what is the ambition of Hitler means? To capture the Europe, to capture the uh, Europe, whole Europe. It was ambition of Hitler. So he wanted to capture a hero and he wanted to make Germany as a supreme power in the world. Okay. So for that, in 1923, Hitler planned to seize Bavaria so that he marched towards Berlin and he wanted to capture power. But unfortunately, he was failed in that attempt and was arrested and tried for the prison and later he was released. So treason is nothing but uh, trying to overthrow the government is known as treason. Okay. So, so he was 
failed in that attempt and he was arrested and later he was released for that okay so the nazi could not uh, get its support from the people till 1930 till 1930 the nazi party didn't familiarize among the people but it was during the depression time it was familiarized it was popularized among the people because we know what had happened during the depression time during the depression banks collapsed business shut down workers lost their job and factories were shut down lot of things occur isn't it so during the depression time the nazi party gave hope to the people so that during the depression time it was started to familiarize among the people and also people believe in nazi programs they started to believe they start uh, they started to believe in the nazi programs okay so in the year 1928 the nazi party got no more than 2.6% of votes for the german parliament but by the year 1932 the nazi party became the largest political party with 37% of votes was formed so it became the largest party and it has secured 37% of votes and of course it is a majority vote only okay so this is how the nazi party developed a lot it gained support from the people so slowly and gradually hitler rise to power by this way only okay so basically hitler was a powerful speaker okay basically hitler was a powerful speaker when he is delivering the speech he used to capture the attention of people okay so that much he, that much he was so powerful in speaking skill his patience and his words moved the people towards hitler and also he promised to provide the employment for those who are looking for job and he also promised to secure future for the youth because we know already during the depression time the the youth were sitting simply on the street corners without jobs isn't it they lost their future of course so hitler promised to secure the future for the youth and also he promised to restore the dignity of germans and also the most importantly he promised to build a strong german nation and also undo the injustice of the versel treaty okay so all this promise created hope in the minds of people okay so that the people lent their support to hitler they started to believe in nazi program they started to support to the hitler okay and here you can see the image of hitler and he, he was addressing uh, the people he was addressing in front of the large crowd okay and then we are going to uh, see a new style of politics which was adapted by hitler so hitler devised a new style of politics he understood the importance of rituals and he also know the importance of mass mobilization so that he took rallies and he also held lot of public meetings to instill the unity among the people okay and also uh, he just uh, took red banners with swastika as a symbol of nazi party so with that red banners and swastika symbol he just created a unity among the people and also he gained support from the people to the nazi party okay so wherever he goes wherever he delivers a speech he received a great 
or rounds of applause. Okay. And also, Hitler was seen as a savior by the Germans. Because we know a lot of things occurred in Germany, isn't it? They faced hyperinflation uh, and also they were vastly affected by the recession period of USA. So a lot of things and political situation was too bad in Germany. So already they, they have experienced a lot of uh, crisis. So, so the, the people saw the Hitler as a savior and uh, is the only one man who could save them from all uh, their difficulties. So they believed in such a way that the Hitler can bring them up from all the crisis. Okay. So Hitler was seen as a savior and also as a Mazia by the Germans. And here you can see the mass rallies led by the Nazi party. And also you can see the swastika symbol, isn't it? Here you can see the Hitler who was taking the resolution. And now we are moving on to see the topic, destruction of democracy, okay? So as we know very well, the Hitler's, uh, Hitler means the Nazi party secured 37% of votes for the German parliament, isn't it? So of course, of course, it is a majority vote won by Nazi party. So that on 30th uh, January 1933, President Hindenburg offers the chancellorship of all the cabinet ministers to Hitler. So listen here. So President Hindenburg invited the Hitler and also he gave the chancellorship post to the Hitler. So chancellorship is a so more the highest post in the cabinet ministry. So Pre President Hindenburg offers the chancellorship to Hitler. And uh, occur, uh, having got power, Hitler started to dismantle the structures of democratic form of government. So that he introduced a fire decree on 28 February 1933. So this fire decree suspended the civil rights of the people like freedom of speech, freedom of press and freedom of assembly. But all these freedoms was granted by the Weimar constitution, which we have learned in the earlier topics. Okay, so listen here, having got power, Hitler started to dismantle the structures of democratic form of government because he don't want anybody to question him. He don't want uh, anybody to criticize Hitler. Okay. So he wanted to dismantle the structures of democratic form of government so that he passed an order on 28 February 1933 to suspend all the civil rights of people. Okay. And then... After he dismantled the structures of democracy, he turned towards his enemies. The communist was the most, most uh, the most of the communists were packed to the newly established concentration camps. Okay. So, after dismantling the structures of democracy, Hitler turned towards his enemies called the communist. So the communists, uh, most of the communists were packed off to the newly established concentration camps. So concentration camps is nothing but, uh, it is an area that was surrounded by the electrified barbed wire fence. Okay. So on 3rd March 1933, he also passed an act. It was an enabling act by this. He, he became a dictator of Germany. Okay. So he passed an enabling act on 3rd March of 1933. Okay. So in the, by this act, Hitler got all the powers in his hand. And of course, all the political parties except the Nazi party were banned. It was completely 
stopped and of course the trade unions were banned and also the important department like uh, economy media army and judiciary was under the control of the hitler so the enabling act gave enormous power to the hitler to became a dictator dictator of germany and also hitler empowered the police department he created a uh, their own security forces to exercise total control over the people and apart from the normal green uniform police he, in, he introduced the new or type of police called uh, sa or storm troopers gestapos as protection squads or the criminal police and the security services so apart from all uh, the normal green uniform police he created other other police service too he empowered empowered the police department and the police department was directly under the control of hitler okay so this gestapo is no uh, they just whenever they receive the command from hitler the gestapo can pick up anybody whomever they suspect or whenever they received the the order to pick up somebody they will reach that place and pick up their people and they will send the people to the gas chambers or else to the concentration camps so under the direct control of hitler the police department became more powerful okay so uh, that's all for today's uh, class children and next take down the assignment what promise did hitler make germans when he became when he came to power and second praise the destruction of democracy in germany what next we will see in the next session children thank you